Hello, welcome to Anson Griffith's occasional series in MATLAB tutorials. Today we'll be doing differentiation using the um, MATLAB symbolic um, toolbox. So you have to have the symbolic toolbox to get the following to work. Okay, so I've written a script and I'm going to run it and I've put in a few pauses here and there. So line 5, 6 and 7 we know by now. And on line 16 we declared uh, x to be a symbolic variable and I've declared some expressions here and I'm just going to print them out there's no fancy s print f or anything like that we use that later on and we're going to just do some other just basic stuff there which and then to plot when we get to here we've defined the function f here and we're going to do an easy plot and um, that's the symbolic way of plotting um, a function between minus 3 and 2 and then uh, we just do a sub there so sorry just do a sub there so we're substituting the value of minus 2 into x for x in the function f that we described on line 31 and then there I have to find uh, q to be a symmetric variable and I'm banging in q for x in the function f and then just here uh, I've declared a, b, c and d a, b, c and d to symbolics and I'm putting it into g and I'm just solving some of this I've done before in a previous one but just as a brief reminder so let's just run it there and we get to the first pause So, now this wouldn't get you many marks because there's no fancy S print Fs or disps or anything like that. It's a bit ignorant to be honest, but we have F and G and then we have some calculations done there. And I'm not that worried about it. And we've banged in values X equals 5 and, and X equals 5 F plus 31, etc. Okay. Now, I've got to say my work improves considerably as we go on. So there, just in this one there, we've got the quadratic uh, AT squared plus BT plus C and we've solved it and we got the old solutions there. So we've solved, there we are. Uh, some of the next stuff with the differentiation I've got from this website here. And if I just scroll down a little bit here, I have defined t and x to be variables on line 65. I've used the diff command. So differentiate 47 with respect to x. Differentiate t cubed with respect to t. Differentiate 4 sine x plus 7 e to the x with respect to x, etc. Now, I'm not going through the differentiation. I assume you know that. Differentiate t to 4 over 4 minus 3 t squared plus 17 minus 9 with respect to t etc. Now in case I've gone too quickly here, if I just take this one for example, so I have the semicolon here on line 73 to suppress the output so, but that will be ants and then the ants will be a symbolic and to get that to work I have to use the display command roundy bracket square bracket, square bracket roundy bracket the piece of text lift of t cubed with respect to t is comma car ants and ants comes from line 73 on line 77 I get the diff ants is now equal to the diff 4 sine x 7 e to the x with respect to x and uh, then I've done a display so ok so I've done the pause so let's scroll up a little bit Derivative of 47 with respect to x is 0, derivative of t t cubed is 3 t squared, etc. And I'm not going to go through them all. I hope that's okay with you because you know, I assume you know how to differentiate. There's a product. There it is here. So the, uh, MATLAB does the differentiation of the product. Uh, and this line here going from there to there, if I can just go back to find it on the line. On line 70, I've done pretty. 
And when I do pretty, I've converted that answer there to something that looks a bit better. There's some other derivatives done there. And you can look at them. There's derivative. This is just down a little bit here, just to go down a bit. So, rules of differentiation, you know, products, quotients, functions of functions, etc. So, there's a product, diff x, display my answer, and pretty diff f would make it look uh, better. Rule 3, there's another product, there's the derivative of it, line 107, I display it. Um, there we are, so there's to get the derivative, just another example line 120 is for a quotient and I just put in the comment there and I've made up the function f I've differentiated, I've got a pretty to make it look, and then I've done a display and then on line 130 I've done a power I've got a pretty and I've displayed it and then I have a function of a function here so we are right with that I've got a function of a function and I've displayed that there so just and the answers are there oh sorry sorry went too quick just go back up a little bit so there's what I was talking about before There's the quotient, for example. And just keep going down there. There's the derivative to the power. Okay. And there's a 1 over function. And we got the derivative there. Now, I may have gone a little too quick. I've got the first derivative and the second derivative. So let's just, how do I do? Oh, there's a plot. Of, there's easy plot. So let's go to the first easy plot. Uh, there's the first EC plot. So EC plot is the plot the symbolics. I can shut down figure one. Uh, there's the second EC plot, G derivative versus X. And there's the second derivative versus X. So that's near where I'd done before. So there's the function g x squared cos x, a product, I've got the differentiation of it, displayed the answer there. How do I get the second derivative? The diff brackets g with respect to x, comma 2, second derivative, you put in comma 3, you get the third, if you put in comma 4, you get the fourth derivative, etc. I've done there, I've just shut it down, I've plotted g, I've done g prime and I've done g double prime and we're on the pause at the moment and then here I'm going to do the easy plot of g I'm going to say hold on so keep the figure that I have I'm going to put on the um, on the same graph I'm going to put on g prime and then the same graph I'm going to put on g double prime and I'm going to hit a pause there oh and just one other thing here I'm going to, because I have three um, different plots. I set the first one to red, I sent the second one to green and I set the third one to blue. Uh, let's just have a look there. So there I have G, G prime and G double prime and I have the three different colours. So just in case I'm going too quick. I did that with the set command. So easy plot, comma set, whatever the variable is, the color, 
and a colour is the American spelling of colour with no U. Sometimes, even in the MATLAB documentation, they put in the U, but it won't work. It has to be without the U. And then, so hold on, keep, just go back to here, hold on, plots the first one, you keep the same figure, and then you get the other two plots. Okay, I can shut that down. Then I want to evaluate a certain value. There's a number of ways. There's differentiated, substitute into G prime um, X and bang in 2.1 for X. Or there's another way of doing it. And I have it wrapped up in one go. And on line 181, a double will be returned. So, to print a double, I don't use the display command, I use the sprintf. So, it's screen print format, the text, out to here, what do I want to do? I want to print a floating point number. So, that's two numbers before the decimal place, two numbers after it, and then out here I say the value, and then I say disp, which is different from display, and that display string 1. So there is the value of the derivative of x squared cos x at x equals 2.1 is minus 5.93. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get MATLAB to solve symbolic solutions to ordinary differential equations. It's a bit hard to do in MATLAB because I can't really do x squared and x cubed. I know I could get the latex up, but just one a little bit here. So, just bring that to the fore here. dy stands for dy dt, d2y stands for d2y dt squared, d3y stands for d3y dt cubed, etc. And we're going to do this one. So if I just slow down here, there's my differential equation. There's my initial condition. Declare y, d solve. Why d solve? Because it's first order dy dt single quote dy equals well if I bring the y across minus y plus 3 comma uh, did I say boundary condition sorry I may have said boundary but the initial condition y naught equals 2 so I have it done there so I've solved that one next one is the second order so the 2y um, minus 2 dy plus 3y or sorry 3 by y equals 5 what are the conditions um, the y prime or the first order equals uh, 0 is minus 2 and then y naught equals 1 and I have that there somewhere except it just goes on a bit and I won't be able to display it. I can inch across this way. You get the whole answer there. It's a bit of a mess, but it's a solution. And then here I have another one done. I have another second order. So the d2y is the second order. 3dy, so that's the first order. 2y equals 24. There are the initial conditions. Y naught. The y of naught equals 10. And the derivative of y at naught equals 0. Uh, d solve solves it. Sorry, in case I went too quick, d solve solves it. I display the answer here. Remember, on line 206, y will be um, a symbolic variable. So to get the symbolic variable to work, I need to display. And to get the display, I did the car y as above. And then I just did a little plot there. And there it is. Okay, so I hope that helps a little. Apologies if I went a little quick, but just I assume that uh, you knew the differentiation and I was just giving a quick idea of how to do things in MATLAB. Thanks for listening. Bye.